This is the brand new Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G and today we are going to do the gaming test of this brand new phone right here. So if you haven't already know, this phone is running the brand new Dimensity 7200 Ultra. As far as I know, the Ultra doesn't actually mean anything. It's just that uh, there's some special algorithm for the camera system to perform better in low light conditions. As far as I know, I can't confirm if that's the case for the 7200. But uh, from my past experience, the Ultra doesn't actually boost the performance as compared to the 7200 without the Ultra. And then for this phone in particular, the screen is slightly higher than usual in terms of resolution, 2712 by 1220, and it can go up to 120Hz refresh rate. And for this particular unit here, we have 12 gigs of RAM and also 512 gigs of storage. Now, the RAM doesn't really matter that much. Uh, you can watch our video at the top right corner there to know more about it. And what I'm going to do here is first to enable developer option. I already did that actually. So what I'm going to do is to hit into developer option here. So what we're going to do is to find power consumption, tap on it and then click start. This thing will appear and uh, it doesn't actually work that well but this is the only tool that we have unfortunately and I just want to monitor the FPS. So now this works and let's just head into Genshin Impact real quick. Okay, so now we are here in Genshin Impact and I just want to do something real quick. So you see this semi-transparent thing here, if we drag it in, we can boost the performance of the game. Uh, yeah, as we can see, the amount of settings here is pretty limited. I do wish there's some sort of a monitor, the performance monitor feature here, but there is none. But uh, I'm just going to show you what graphical setting that we're using first. Hmm. So everything is at medium right now, which is actually the higher than default setting and I'd say this is the best setting available for this phone in particular. So we'll just proceed with medium graphical preset first at 60 FPS, remember this. And then we will also enable this one. And then as we can see here, wow, there's a lot of glitching. But anyway, it's in performance mode right now. So let's see how well this works. So let's try to defeat this boss real quick because I need some level up materials. Hopefully it works. How could I miss that? What? What happened? Okay, so let's do that once more. I hate this boss so much. Ooh, this is pretty good. 
Now let's take a walk around Fontaine and see how this phone actually performs because I can see during this kind of environmental scenery the frame rate is not that consistent. Yeah, at least we can get somewhere around 30 something FPS. It kind of dips below 30 at certain scenarios like just now. But uh, not too big of an issue, I think. So if you do want to play this game at the medium graphical settings, you can. It's just that if you want to get a better experience, you should lower it. And uh, if since I'm here, let's just do some, some overworld things, right? Hopefully, I don't die. We need it last. Oh, Even they're about to get sexy. Your grand finale and step. Huh? Teamwork is dream work. Time for a light show. Oh no! Okay, never mind. I don't want to do this on mobile anymore. This is impossible. Anyway, yeah, the frame rate on this phone in particular, if you're going to play it in medium graphical quality, it's not going to be exactly 30 FPS, but close enough. So just mix and match somewhere between medium and low graphical quality, and then you get a much better gaming experience on Genshin Impact using this phone. So before I take the temperature, let me just collect these things first. 
Oh, I got three. Nice. So, yeah, let me just take the temperature real quick. The phone does feel a slight bit warm, but nothing too extreme. So, at the front here, bottom part, we get somewhere around 37.5, 38 degrees Celsius. Not too bad. Then around the middle here, we get somewhere around 40 degrees Celsius. Actually, it's 39.8. So close to 40. And somewhere around the top here is the hottest it's going to be because that's where the chipset is located. And that's around 42 degrees Celsius. So yeah, do keep that in mind. Yeah, the around somewhere around the camera bump here is going to be the hottest. As you can see, that white spot there. So that would be somewhere around 39 degrees Celsius at the back. Then around the middle, somewhere around 38. Around the bottom here is at 36 point something. So overall, in terms of temperature, really not going to be an issue at all. And since this is considered a mid-range chipset, yeah, the performance reflects that and the temperature also is kind of okay. So. Yeah, that's it for Genshin Impact, let's proceed with the next game. And just like many times I've mentioned before, PUBG Mobile, a very very horrible game in terms of all the options available. So yeah, we only can get HDR and Extreme. And this is actually the same graphical quality on some other Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 phones that we have tested recently. So yeah, these are all of the settings that we're using and uh, let's just hop into a world. I don't really want to spend more time on PUBG Mobile. There's gonna be two numbers on the tool, the frame rate tool there. Um, just pay attention to the one at the bottom because for this tool in particular on PUBG Mobile, actually a few games, they will have two numbers. So just pay attention to the one that is actually fluctuating. Hmm, I saw someone else land here as well. As expected, this phone can handle PUBG Mobile, 60 FPS, no issues at all. Once again, developers of PUBG, I doubt you're watching this video, but please open up more graphical quality settings for all phones. I can assure you this phone can run 90 FPS, no problems at all, but uh, the option is just not there. So why? So, in PUBG New State, what we can do is quite a lot of things actually. So, when we hit into graphics, 90 FPS, ultra graphical quality, there's no extreme yet, unfortunately, HD textures, and all of these different options. Even Vulkan API too. So, we'll just proceed with all of these settings and let's just hop into a game. So, if you haven't already realized, PUBG New State will give you two numbers as well, but uh, the top one is the correct one this time. So yeah, we're getting somewhere fluctuating FPS actually. Mostly somewhere around 90 FPS, but uh, it does fluctuate somewhere below as well sometimes when it starts. So yeah, PUBG new state. It's just much better than PUBG mobile, right? I mean, at such higher graphical fidelity and yet we can still get 90 FPS.
Where is that guy? So I realized our frame rate has dropped to 60 FPS. I'm not sure what's happening, but it could be due to Vulkan API because we did experience this before on another phone where we, if we just change to Vulkan API for whatever reason, the game is just locked at 60, but uh, it is increasing back to around 70 something right now. Huh, that, that's funny. So let's just play around a little bit more and see what goes on with it. Uh, I need to drive. Bye bye. And we're still stuck at 60 FPS. Hmm. No idea what's wrong. But uh, uh, should I do it right now? You know what, let's let's do the super illegal yet dangerous move. I'm gonna change the API to uh, OpenGL and it requires a restart. So what I'm gonna do is quit the game here. Uh, you shouldn't do this in a real game. I'm just doing this as a demonstration. Yeah, it takes some time when we're changing API. So we've been here for like Two minutes or so so we should be able to just directly jump back into the game when it finished loading yeah i got shot uh yeah after changing to open gl we can still see the frame rate is at around 60 fps that's surprising i don't know what's happening did it get overheat huh that's surprising let me let me just check the graphical setting once more it is at 90, ultra, high, everything at high, and it is at OpenGL. I'm just not sure why it dropped to 60 FPS. Did it thermal throttle though? No, the temperature is at about the same as Genshin Impact, so around the middle part here is at 42 degrees Celsius. Around the top here, the hottest spot is at around 43, which is still not the hottest that it should be. And yeah, it's just not that hot, but for whatever reason, this game cannot reach 90 FPS anymore. I'm just not sure what's happening, but uh, we got revived. I'm not like I'm gonna play this game any longer, but uh, yeah, let's let's just land, bro. I just landed. But yeah, this game for whatever reason is just stuck at 60 FPS. I don't know what happened. If we boost it, can we get above? No, we are still stuck. So, yeah. I don't know what's happening, but uh, I don't think changing the graphical API would fix it this time. So, at least we're getting consistent 60 FPS, right? I'm going to die again. Yeah, just in the nick of time. Anyway, I'm not gonna play this anymore. Let's just jump to the next game. Now for COD Mobile, they actually added a few new settings for the graphics. So uh, I apologize for this kind of horrible music, but it's something that we have to go through. So we can go very high graphical quality and the frame rate will be reduced to high. That's not the best, I would say. I would go for ultra frame rate, but that will set us to the lowest graphical quality I'm fine with that, at least we get the most out of our frame rate. And as we can see here, Ultra will be 90 FPS. Unfortunately, we cannot go under 20, but that's okay. I'll take whatever we have. And then these are all of the settings that I'm gonna use. Not like I'm gonna play in zombie or battle royale mode anyway, but yeah. So super resolution is gonna increase the render resolution to its native resolution so I'm definitely gonna turn this high. Uh, optical performance of scope. This is actually to make it more realistic looking. I'm just gonna turn it on and this is gonna stress this phone to its highest potential in COD Mobile. So let's just jump into a game. The music is horrible by the way.
identified. Capture the objective. Let's go, let's go. Headshot. Hostiles have the hard point. Let's go, let's go. So yeah, COD Mobile 90 FPS, not an issue even with super resolution turned on, which is really good. So let's proceed with Mobile Legends, which is this one. So for Mobile Legends on this phone, we can enable Ultra for both high frame rate and also graphics, which is really good. Uh, I presume this is 120 FPS and this is, you know, just the highest graphical quality available. Let's just jump into a game. Question now is, can this phone actually handle high frame rate with this kind of high graphical quality. Uh, I don't think so. As you can see, the frame rate fluctuates very much. Oh no, I'm not gonna get hit. Good. I'll bring you to justice. Target locked. Ha! Killing spree. Double kill. For whatever reason, it just reached 120 just now. Uh. Let's just proceed and see how things go. Yeah, the, the frame rate drops once more. I think it thermal throttled, but uh, that means the thermal limit of this phone is going to be real low. Somewhere around 43 degrees Celsius is its maximum. Is that what's happening on PUBG New State? I think so. So yeah, we are mostly hovering around 88 FPS when it thermal throttle. Uh, and it can go up to 120 sometimes. That that's actually thermal throttling. The performance will jump up and down depending on the temperature available. Um yeah, the, the thermal headroom on this phone is really, really, really small. I mean, I can't confirm if this is actually thermal throttling, but the behavior is thermal throttling. 
same behavior as normal throttling. Yeah, as you can see, it was 120 FPS just now. That was when the temperature is low enough for the chipset to push in more power. But uh, once it hits that thermal limit once more, it has dropped to around 88 FPS once more. So yeah, thermal throttling is something that will happen to this phone. So is this a time that I would recommend you to get a cooler for this phone? Perhaps. Oh, it's 120 FPS once more. And now the frame rate is dropping once more. Yeah, this is thermal throttling. The behavior is exactly the same as thermal throttling. Uh, I can't really tell what's the exact temperature that it's thermal throttling, but I guess it's somewhere around 43 degrees Celsius on the surface. So inside it might be 50, 50 something degrees Celsius. I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, the thermal headroom on this phone is not that high. Okay, so we are back with another round of Mobile Legends and this time I think I should enable this. I mean, it should be able to go to a higher thermal headroom and it should be a more consistent 120fps experience. So let's try that out. Yeah, so after enabling the high performance mode, it is definitely gonna be thermal throttling as well. So no surprises there, but uh, I just want to try it out and see if it actually increases the thermal headroom. But uh, the phone feels the same to me. It's still the same warmth. It's not hotter than before, but uh, the FPS still dips when it's thermal throttling. So yeah, no surprises there. Okay, so for Warzone, I just installed it. I haven't even given it a try yet. But the, the graphical quality available is really basic. So it's high uh, performance optimization for frame rate or battery. That's vague as hell. Then allow high res asset streaming. So most of it isn't downloaded. It's going to stream over the internet. That's what I get from reading this description here. And then the FOV, I'm just going to go max. I like to play games that way. So I'm also going to enable this. And now let's just find a match. So for whatever graphical quality that we want to play this game in, works kind of well. I mean, we're getting somewhere around 40 something, 50 something FPS. It's okay. But uh, the graphical quality of this game though, why does this game look so flat in terms of color? And the texture isn't exactly the best either. I mean, did you see the image just now or uh, this thing? Oh yeah, the texture popping is also quite insane. So 
Yep, this doesn't seem to be a well-optimized game. I mean, look at that tree. <laughs> if we get closer, it will be nicer, right? Not exactly, but somewhat. Yeah, the draw distance of this game is a bit weird. Someone disappeared. Let's get him. Oh god. Rookie mistake. What are you shooting? Oh, 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 oh. But yeah, this game just looks not good. There are two teams coming in from that side in front of us. Is it? I'm not sure, but the circle is really close and tight now. If no one gets close to us, then they should be already dead, right? How do we go there? What is this? Oh no! What is this? Okay, I don't know what's happening at the end, but uh, the frame rate is pretty okay. I mean, it could have been better. We definitely need to lower some graphical settings to get a more consistent 60fps experience in Warzone. But uh, I think this game is still new. The, there is quite a lot of optimizations to do. So yeah, these are all the settings that we were using. I think we could have lowered this and it should be a lot better but uh yeah even with high the the assets in this game isn't exactly the best anyway so that concludes the gaming test of the brand new readme note 13 pro plus 5g it's another mouthful of a name uh the dimensity 7200 pretty good it's just that i think for whatever reason this phone is thermal throttling the behavior is the same as the mode throttling. So yeah, pay attention to that. Lower your graphical settings a little bit and you should be good to go. So yeah, that's it. If you want to learn more about this phone in particular, our review will come soon. So do let me know what you want to know about this phone down in the comment section below and we will see you guys in the next video.